Good morning. Um, I'd first like to start off by saying how wonderful it was to gather with everyone in the gym on Friday for our celebration of the Feast of St. Joseph. Um, I know the gym isn't the best place for liturgies, but it was great to be together as a community. And so I thought I'd speak about some aspects of community this morning. And what I want to look at is in St. Benedict's rule, a small little rule for monks, in the penultimate chapter, in chapter number 72, oh, come on, come here. In the penultimate chapter, in chapter 72 of the rule of St. Benedict, uh, St. Benedict talks about uh, the good zeal of monks. And I, I do want to quote from, from the chapter, um, because he says, This is what uh, separates us from evil and leads us to God and everlasting life. So, this then is the good zeal which monks must foster with fervent love. Then he quotes from the letter to the Romans. They should each try to be the first to show respect to the other. And I like that quote from Romans, to show respect for each other. Not to say I respect you, not to have people earn our respect, but they should be the first to show the respect. And so what does that mean? That means that we act in ways that let the other know that we respect them. And so as we move into this time of understanding that we're going to start on Wednesday, we're going to practice some ways of showing respect to other people. One of the things is, I show respect for you by listening to your story and understanding that your life experience is different than mine. So this Wednesday, we're going to hear the story of a Holocaust survivor. After that, we're going to learn that we show respect by, to each other by conversing with, with each other in a sense of dialogue, to learn from each other rather than debate and defeat the other. That, that we show respect by understanding the difference between the facts of the world and our opinions about those facts that, that shape how we believe and treat other people. And so I, I urge you, to move into this time of understanding, to take away some concrete actions that you can do to show respect to each other. Listen to each other, as St. Benedict says, with the ear of the heart. Now, one other thing. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about the way St. Benedict urges us to be as Benedictines, today is a good day because we're celebrating the Feast of St. Benedict, and Brother Jerome and our new novice are going to be in the Sokol building. Um, they might have some treats. I believe they're going to be in the atrium. They may be in the second floor conference room. But they're going to talk about how you can learn about St. Benedict and the Benedictine way of life through being a student oblate. So I encourage you to stop by and at least meet them. Brother Jerome is a master at showing respect to each and every person. And so I urge you, move into this time of understanding, learn to show respect to each other, to listen to your stories, to tell your stories, and to claim who you are as an individual worthy of dignity and respect because you were created in God's image and likeness. And so with that, let us close with our vocation prayer. St. Michael, Michael the Archangel, Archangel Prince of the Heavenly Host of Angels, angels and patron saint of our community. Intercede for us before the throne of God. Send many vocations to join us as seeking gods, as seeking God, as monks and oblates of this house. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessings.